Hello friends, welcome to Sim Airport, a uh, little bit of a rival to Airport CEO, which we played a couple of times on the channel. Uh, we're actually not entirely done with with uh, one of those series just yet, but I wanted to jump into this one because it's one year anniversary uh, ish uh, for for this game around these times, and it's about one year since I bought it. Um, and this game has changed so much. It's crazy. Short story is, a year ago, this did not look like it does today. Uh, it came out before Airport CEO, but you know, it had a little bit of uh, a little bit more time in early access and uh, improved more, I would say, than Airport CEO. Although I'm partial to Airport CEO because you know it's a Swedish company. I'm from Norway. Got like a brother sister kind of relationship between the countries. You know. You know how it goes. Uh, anyways, though, let's uh, let's have a look at what we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna start with career mode because you know making money and stuff is kind of fun, right? Uh, I'm almost tempted to start from scratch, but we did that with Airport CEO, so let's not do that with Sim Airport. Uh, I guess one airport from scratch should be enough, right? All right, so this is our little airport. Uh, unlike Airport CEO, you have to like have your uh, runway and such um, closed off from the public with fences. Uh, it's a little bit of a different, maybe go as far as to call it simpler graphic going on. Uh, you have your area, your um, runway, your taxiway, your uh, regular small airport aircraft stand, air, yeah, aircraft stand. And then um, you also have some some uh, ticketing up here, some baggage claim, some uh, different restrooms, female and male. Uh, and then on the secure side of things, also female and male. Uh, in Airport CEO, you can just go ahead and, you know, not care about, um, uh, you know, the security zone. People won't pass it unless they've passed through a security checkpoint. Here, uh, your airport shuts down if you uh, if you try something, you know, like that. So, so that's not something I'd recommend. Um, however, we're going to increase our security uh, for the foreseeable future because we're going to need more than one airport aircraft stand in order to um, make a profit. And we're gonna have to need more than two ticketing desks. Um, gonna need more than. I think I'm gonna leave the one gate agent desk there, and then we'll just accept small aircraft to this um, aircraft stand right here. And then the next one, we're gonna ramp up with two gate agent desks, and only and accept like a little bit bigger flights there. Um, do we not have any workers? Yeah, we do. There we go. Where are you guys headed? Oh, right. A little bit of a hard way to get around. I get it. I get it. What's also super fun about this game, which I should have started about started with, is the fact that you can actually build on multiple floors. You got third floor, second floor, ground floor, negative one, and negative two. Uh huh. Ain't that cool? Ain't that swell? I'd call that pretty swell. To be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and zone security. Go ahead and just uh, wait for those guys to just do their thing. There we go. All right. Um. The the thing is, you um, even though they won't pass by unless it's the security zone, um. Um, or the the airport will shut down if it's you know a breach in the security. Um, like here, this isn't very secure. You could easily sneak back here and up and in. Uh, but that that's okay. That's fine. And no worries. Uh, uh no one's gonna no one's gonna do that. Uh, you're gonna just gonna make the baggage claim area a little bit smaller. Uh, security like so. And we're gonna want a uh can we alright just ah oh, this is beautiful. 
probably some kind of tag on them or something that makes uh, Bag Scanner come up when I search for a sec. The same with Metal Detector, which is magnificent. Magnificent. Uh, let's actually start in the other end uh, with these ones. Uh, let's go ahead and place that there. We fit even a third one. Could. Do we want a third one? Let's start with two, shall we? Um, we'll start with one ID check. ID stand check thing. You know what I mean. All right, then we're going to go for a couple of ticketing kiosks. Uh, I've heard rumors that you can actually place these outside. Um, I'm not going to, though. I'm going to place them like that. Uh, so when you come in here, you can easily just drop by one of those. Now I I am um, might be just be a weird kind of person I don't know, uh, but I really want to just you know uh, let's throw in another one like that, and then we're gonna do one two yeah like that down to like there. All right, so a couple more and. Ah, what did I do? do this. This is crazy expensive, though. Crazy expensive. All right, two more. And then, like that. That way, we're going to throw in a couple of, um, once we're done with this, we're going to throw in a couple of security exits here so that people coming out of airplanes will just jump on through there. Uh, while the workers work on that, we will go up here and we're going to think about some queuing. Let's go ahead and just do something uh, like this, maybe. Uh, maybe not the last one there. Like that. And we're going to tell these guys to be assigned to there. Are they both now? Yeah, they are. Beautiful. Uh, close it. Close it. And we're also going to just make a quick little uh, VIP kind of thing. If we do it the right way, that would be awesome. All right, like that. And then we're going to assign you here. And it's not going to be first class. And that's not going to be first class. I mean, this is not going to be coach. This is going to be coach. There we go. Uh, we can assign you to over here as well. Like that. Beautiful. The guys are still carrying stuff around. Not really finishing up yet. Uh, let's go ahead and if we think about the future, we're going to need the space downwards for more ID checks and security stands. Um, all Even though we're going to move that around eventually so you know it's not not like this for the rest of days oh hello uh, not a new one uh we can actually just right, remove that and how about that i think that's good for now right all right um let's call that coach so like that, and then we'll just do a another one like that, and this time it's actually going to be at first class and flight crew, like so. All right, wait for these guys. Uh, we can actually go ahead and have a look at some flights. Going to need some of those coming in eventually. Here we got two for the. Um, I'm guessing it's. Afternoon, yeah, then it's probably a.m. like normal a.m. and early a.m. and p.m. But which you know, I'm not sure if this is actually what it stands for, but I've the way I remember which one is which of a.m. and p.m. because that's you know not so much used in in, in I want to say Europe, but at least Norway, uh, almost the same thing as uh, after midnight and present to midnight. Um. 
now you know, you know, if if you guys wondered about that, you probably probably wondered senseless about something like that, right? Uh no, not clear that. But we can clear uh, these ones. Beautiful. Um we didn't actually accept any flights. I went rambling on about AM and PM instead. All right. Uh, two flights of 90, that's fine. Uh, they go on the air, the stand that we already have. A morning flight of 90, same thing with that one. Uh, how many passengers here? 90. All right, all these four flights go on the gate we already have. And we can uh, even change their allotted time a little. Like so. Uh, let's go ahead and move that to... If we try to picture another going like there, that should be fine. Um, i put this here for now. Uh, it's also 90. And this is also 90. So we can, you know, cheap out on the, on the allotted time a little. Let's go ahead and remove that. And remove that. And we can probably speed up time a little more. There's no flights coming in until tomorrow. We can have a look at the flight status and, uh, you know, the sort of schedule right here. Oh, what's happening? Require secure area? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. That's what I meant. Uh, nope. X. That. There we go. Once that's placed, this becomes secure area again. I'm apparently ordering it. It was enough. All right, all right, all right. Uh, 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 uh. Go ahead and have a look. Um, there was something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a Q four for these guys as well. Um, go ahead and make the first class one right there, and then we can do the. The, the coach, fine coach, uh, guys, uh, nope, nope, what, what am I doing? No. Something like that, all right, so assign you to zoom in a little to... Signed flight crew, crew and uh, first class. It's only first class, apparently. Um, and that would be the regular folk. Coach, guys. All right? All right. So up, up here, we have a little bad example because there's no passenger here. But <clears throat> sorry about that. Underneath satis satisfaction overview, you can see, like, hunger and... Uh, frustration, rest, information, all sorts of things, um, which isn't, you know, it, it affects how happy passengers are, which has a, a, an effect on air, uh, airline interest, which an airline interest, again, gives you the ability to um, um, get more planes and better planes and, you know. No, I, I had it there. Come on. I'm just going to place down some information. Real quick, um, as you know, that's the kind of thing that exists at airports, right? Flight information. No one there as well, and we'll, you know, go eat shit bananas with uh, with that eventually, right? Uh, now we have some all the things we put down after after stuff um, went in. Uh, is is currently uh, you know concrete, whilst the rest of this is um, not concrete. So we're we're gonna just fix that real quick. It costs a bit of money, and um, the the main reason why I never like played this game through back in the days was because um, um, it took so long to like make a decent chunk of change so that you can do anything. We're going to be a bit careful with our money. I Right now we're sitting at 325 down from 450. We're not like 
ter doing terrible at the moment, but we're still going to keep that in mind, try to, like, have a little bit of a slush fund, at least in the beginning, until we see money run rolling in like it was no one's business. Business? Hmm. Apparently, it doesn't allow, uh, like, if there's an object on top, it doesn't want to do it, or does it have to just be done in a, its own fashion? Yeah, it works. All right. Um, just because this looks kind of weird with like the stripes here. So let's go ahead and just extend the zone a little. Do like that. Beautiful. Now, uh, a nice way to make money early on, uh, I've heard, is to make food vending and, uh, and such. So let's go ahead and place one there and one over here, maybe, uh, along with, uh, I don't know, electronic sending right there. We can also go for some trash cans, garbage bins. No clue which way is which, but uh, I'm sure it works. Go a little bit crazy on them, and maybe we can uh, um, skip out on having extra, extra um, cleaning people. Uh, janitors, what they're called. There we go. One in between there. Uh, now I can see how it goes. All right, so we see that uh, boredom is... Well, uh, boredom is 70. The goal is to get everything to 100, which I've never seen anyone do, but, you know, probably possible, maybe, perhaps. Um, da, 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 da. environment is really lagging behind. So, you know, that might be a thing we want to look into for the future. Um, the same is probably rest because they have nowhere to set up. 42 people. That's actually not so bad for the first flight. If I may say so myself, that's not the, I'm looking for this one. 31, 40, and 51. All right. It's actually not that bad for first day with the 90 people. In the in the thing there. This why are you only sending people there? Assigned to can you no? Alright, fine. Alright, alright, alright. Uh now because passengers are so happy or going up great fairly nicely, that means that airline interest is gonna go up as well. Which means we'll get access to more and eventually also bigger planes. Uh all these are 90. Probably fit another morning flight and another evening. Like another um, AM and AN. Alpha Mike and Alpha November. Flight. Alright. Um, 46. Let's grab this guy. Like that. Oh, crosswinds. Alright, let's take a quick break from that. Uh, this game has... Um, Wind conditions is playing effect on on whether or not flights can land, uh, or they will be delayed. Uh, and with this uh, runway ILS, that makes uh, airplanes able to land in twenty. I'm guessing K KT stands for knots per hour. High winds, crosswinds. Uh, so that's going to come in handy. It costs twenty bucks, twenty k, but you know. Gotta spend money to make money, I suppose. Uh, we need to schedule these bad boys. All right, so let's throw that over here, make it a little bit smaller, and in the middle there, beautiful. And we can move this a little back, well, and throw that like there, and make it smaller. There we go. Now we can, we can, like, when, the thing is, um, the fewer passengers uh, a airplane is, is grab and hold of, uh, the shorter time it needs on the ground, right? So you see here, arrival, uh, or arrival window, when it's supposed to arrive, is 6 a.m. Arrived 13 minutes before that, which is, you know, nice. Uh, I think, I think they're, by nature, arrived 13 minutes early. Uh, but as you can see, it also left over an hour before it was supposed to. 
or left almost an hour before it was supposed to. Uh, same with this one. Same with that one. Uh, and it's because they don't have the passengers they were supposed to have. Uh, so once we see like 90, 90 passengers and 90 passenger flights, we can start like adjusting these even more. And I think we can actually, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a uh, an attempt here. We'll make all the morning flights a little bit smaller and move them closer together. It means we might be able to squeeze another morning flight in, AM flight, that is. We'll see though. We're not going to squeeze it in just yet. Oh, oh, oh. Are we, uh, we're just going to ramp it up with another, another gate, maybe? I'm thinking, yeah. Let's, let's throw in another gate. And small one, I think. The large ones and also the extra large ones. I th uh, at least one of these, uh, probably both, has to. You have to like be in the second floor, be on the second floor in order to, um, you know, use the uh, gangway. Is that what it's called? The the boom, the the thing you enter from, the one to the right of my cursor. Uh, so that's kind of fun. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely do some fun stuff with uh, different different levels and all sorts of crazy stuff, craziness, crazy stuffness. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, let's go ahead and because uh, the gate itself isn't actually that expensive. Um, let's go ahead and what would you charge me for? Something like that, 72K, that's a bit much. All right, how about that, 50K? 45K. 40K, all right, let's go with 40K. Then we're, we'll play some, some seats and maybe a uh, some more vending machines. Maybe we can look into, um, what do you call them? The thingies, the retail, there we go. Um, like a coffee kiosk, maybe. I don't know. Um, I tried one of these before, but they don't give you any money. Uh, that was I would bore them in frustration, but it's also costly to run uh, and maintain so let's try to keep avoid it uh, we can place a new stand though news is always a great thing to have in your life right let's put a garbage disposal not disposal but garbage thing next to it as well um we're gonna need to clear that away like so Uh, and that would probably be under objects and go with benches. Uh, these look more like the normal, the norm for, for benches, but these guys look like they are uh, made for comfort. Like any... All right, so there's actual, there's no actual difference between the chairs. Doesn't give any boosts, doesn't give any, you know different stuff. Like that. That's like a little uh, nest. Rest nest. Is that even a thing? Throw a ATM there. Um, and maybe some different... Oh, nope. Nope. Cancel. 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 There we go. Uh, do we want like these kind of things or do we want trees or let's do these kinds of things? Uh, uh, like that, maybe. Actually, let's uh dismantle that one and dismantle that one, and then we'll put uh garbage information 
Um, that and that, and then garbage information again. Information? I guess not. Alright. Guess it's going that way. Then, and then garbage. Like so. I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe I, I have no clue why it didn't, like, work. More directions. Um, uh, gate agent. Yeah, gate agent desk. There we go. Um, let's do something for a formation like that. Maybe we're also gonna need a door. There we go. Not that one. This one. Yes, please. Beautiful. Uh, and then for cues. Right, we're gonna want that to be, um, what do you call them? The first class people. Uh, oops, so that one. Like that. Uh, and then we're gonna assign you to here. Not coach and assigned to here, not first class. And you're also going to need to be assigned to the gate itself. Pretty much same story here, like that. And close it. Uh, now we're going to have a look at some flights. Do we have any bigger than 90? No, we don't. That's weird. That is weird indeed. Here we got some. Which one is it that we can accept? Was it down? Oh, uh, of course it's the one ninety-one. Ugh, don't want that one. Don't you get that? Don't you get that? Ninety. I want a larger aircraft. Larger than ninety as maximum. People on board. 64 you guys should offer some some better flights man all right let's grab the one then put that the 190 flight go ahead and cramp that together a little and put it there uh and we'll then we'll just hire one more staff i think Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, it's the wait during night time. Would be kind of nice with the uh, with the runway lights. Able to operate runway lights allow for night operations at your airport. Definitely something we'll look into in the future. But I honestly thought we needed some research for that as well. But maybe not. We'll look at that in in between episodes. I think it's about time we uh, call it for today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to smack the like button. If there's any feedback, any thoughts, uh, which I'm sure there might be because there's a lot of potential here, uh, make sure to leave that in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Here we go.